Good morning, I'm Sachesh Mahabir. Here's a look at some of the stories making the news at this time on CNC3 on the TBC Radio Network. Opposition to the proposed rapid rail is mounting, with residents in the community seeking extensive legal advice. Speaking on the CNC3 early morning show, one resident, Prem Chand Ajoda, said there was some difficulty in getting information on exactly which communities would be affected by relocation. He said the Freedom of Information Act was used and the area that will be negatively impacted is vast. Mm. And with this now, we get to know the area that are affected. Right. Right, like from Kelly Village, come down to um, Ramguli Trees, Mount Plaisy Road, Welcome Village, Esmeralda Road, Depot mm. Road, right, Lawrence Wong Road. That is all on the, alongside the, is about 300, 400 meters away from the Southern Main Road, mm. right, is affected. And what we understand too, it may be passing through California, Hoover. As such, the residents have formed a pressure group and are now seeking the assistance of former Attorney General and Tabakit MP Ramesh Lawrence Maharaj. We have names, I bring them names of people, all who put down their names. Mm. We're making sure the people put down their names so they're interested. Yeah. And we are going there, we're going in a peaceful protest kind of petition thing, right? Where mm. we'll be presenting that letter I just showed you there yeah. to him. Mm asking him for his representation and support. Okay. Former President Arthur N. R. Robinson remains warded at the St. Clair Medical Facility after his collapse while attending a funeral service yesterday morning. 83-year-old Robinson had collapsed while attending the funeral of Charles Allian, son of the former head of the public service Doddridge Allian. Robinson was then taken to St. Clair Medical Center where a number of tests were being performed. Robinson was told that he could not have left the medical facility yesterday and would have to at least spend the night. Robinson had suffered convulsions and several tests from the full range of cardiac examinations to CT scans were being done to ascertain the full extent of the situation. Mr. Robinson has had a series of medical problems in the last decade which spanned his term as Prime Minister and President. Mr. Robinson's wife, the late Patricia Robinson, died last September at age 79 after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease and diabetes. And that's a look at some of the stories making the news at this time on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. Stay tuned for another news update at the top of the hour.